Well, nitrogen has been used as a fertiliser for, for hundreds of years and uh, on a whole range of crops globally. But the interesting thing, of course, is that we apply so much of this fertiliser and yet only 20% of it is actually taken up by the plant. The rest is essentially waste. That waste we talk about is, is a large proportion of, of the total amount of nitrogen that's actually applied as a fertiliser. And there are two things that happens with that. There are lots of bacteria within the soil and the, the nitrogen, when it's added, they use that and they, they convert it into nitrogen uh, dioxide. And that's a greenhouse gas that is five times uh, more uh, damaging than, than CO2 actually is. The other thing that happens is that the, the nitrates that are in the soil that are not then used by the plant or the other bacteria to produce the nitrous oxide, they then flow through into our waters and contaminate and pollute our waterways and cause all sorts of problems that require remedial action. One of the best ways of perhaps describing nitrogen fixation is, is uh, in, as an analogy with what happens with uh, um, photosynthesis. We all know from our school days about the fact that there are chloroplasts within a, a green leaf of a plant and what that does is take light and sunlight, sunlight and water, sorry, and uh, creates the, with the CO2 some sugars that the plant used to grow. Well when we have nitrogen fixation by bacteria that they essentially do the same thing as a chloroplast, only they take the nitrogen from the air and then use that with energy source to create the nitrogen that produces the proteins that the plant also needs to grow. So with all things in science, to some extent, there's an element of serendipity, a bit of luck that comes about. And Professor Ted Cocking, who invented the technology built around this particular nitrogen-fixing bacteria, he was just lucky in that he found this bacteria that if he created the right conditions around the seed, enabled that bacteria to be taken up and taken up intracellularly, where it can fix nitrogen within the plant. Now, the, the big difference is with this bacteria is it spreads throughout the whole of the plant. We've used these types of bacteria before, but they're always restricted to just the roots in what are called root nodules. And the, the plants that have these root nodules are called legumes. And so these types of inoculants of bacteria are common in, in agriculture, but only with peas and beans and alfalfa and a few dedicated crops. With this particular species, of bacteria and by getting it into the plant intracellularly it applies to every single crop. Exotic Technologies is the company that's been formed to essentially take this as a concept uh, of the nitrogen fixing bacteria all the way through to having a product that can be sold and used by farmers to uh, reduce the amount of nitrogen that they actually apply to their crops. And so the the, the company is, is taking what is essentially a, a something that's been proved in principle all the way through to that product which requires that we understand something about its shelf life, how we formulate it, everything that underpins our understanding so that it can be used most effectively to the value of the farmer and of course ultimately the consumer. So we've been doing a great deal of research in, in the UK to, to make sure that the, the product uh, will work in the field and we're now going entering this spring into a series of field trials in the UK and here in Ontario. And uh, the, the point of these trials is to demonstrate that the, the bacteria is working and that it can allow the farmers to reduce the amount of nitrogen that they actually apply to their crops. And in particular, we're, we're focusing here in, in Canada, in Ontario, on the, the corn crop. Yes, this is definitely is a world first. There, uh, in the laboratory, I've been able to see crops growing with absolutely no nitrogen applied whatsoever, only that which they can take from the atmosphere. And so this whole trial that we're going into now, both in the UK and here in Ontario, is, is going to be a world first. Nobody has done this before in this way at all. My role is that uh, I've, I've been involved previously in, in setting up uh, technology-based companies. I'm a scientist by training, an agricultural scientist, and I actually came across this uh, technology at Nottingham University and helped found the, the company with colleagues to, to take this product forward. Oh, this has all uh, hap been happening over the last 18 months and the important thing and the, the link we have with Ontario is that the, the funding to make all of this possible has actually come from a, a Canadian and Ontario based company here in Guelph uh, called Engage Agro. 
and uh, it's through this association and the funding that's available that uh, we've been able to take this technology forward to the stage we can now do field trials. So it really is a world first, it really is very exciting and uh, here in Ontario I think there's a, a very open attitude towards and a very dynamic attitude towards taking on new technologies that are really going to be a benefit to agriculture and the environment.